All right, uh, I have got some some trivia for you just a little bit. I, I, I'm just curious if maybe you know this off the top of your head. I have got in front of me a list of the most watched games in college football this season. I, I've got the top 12. I want to see if you can name, mm, let's see, four or five of them just off the top of your head. What do you think are the highest viewed games this year? Georgia Clemson. That is number one, 8.863 million people on ABC. Alabama, Texas A&M. That's number two, 8.334 million on CBS last week. Uh, I would guess, what's the biggest Notre Dame game we've had? Was it Notre Dame, maybe Cincinnati or Notre Dame, Wisconsin, either of those? Notre Dame, Wisconsin is actually the number 12. It is 5.369 million. Maybe Ohio State, Oregon. Ohio State, Oregon was number five. That's 7.73 million. Pretty good at this. The Red River Rivalry. That was up there. That one is number nine. That was 5.94 million on ABC last week. The Ole Miss Arkansas game should have been, but I guarantee it won't because it's nope. two small schools. No, nah, it was it, it, too small. Too small. And it was yeah. going it was going head to head with uh with Red River. So Yeah. And both were good. Red River was a great game. That was a great game to offer. Yes. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, that's a lot. I've, listened, I've guessed almost all of them. Yes, so, you did. Yeah, I mean, you everything did well. I've guessed has been on the list. Yeah, you did well. Uh, How far do you want me to go? Uh, no, no, uh, no. Penn you're... State Auburn. Penn, Penn State, State Auburn was probably. Uh, yes, Penn State Auburn was number six. That's seven point six six million on ABC back on uh, September eighteenth. I bet Penn State Iowa didn't make the list. How about that? How about I give you that? You would be incorrect. Penn State wow, Iowa. Wow, they made the list. Iowa I... showing up. Number Iowa. seven. Actually, more than Oklahoma, Texas last week. That State, makes you proud. Yeah, six point nine oh four million on Fox, and that was of course last week. Some of the other ones that, that are in that here makes you real proud. Number three was Alabama, Florida, uh, on CBS. Of course, that one came down to the wire, seven point eight six three million. Number four was Notre Dame at Florida State. That standalone window on Sunday of opening weekend. Seven. Oh, point, I forgot that they had the the standalone window. Oh, Any yeah. Notre Dame game standalone would have definitely done it. That oh yeah. Sense. Seven point seven five million on ABC on that one. Let's see. You said Oregon, Ohio State, uh, Auburn, Penn State, Penn State, Iowa. How about this one? Uh, the Thursday night game, Ohio State at Minnesota, six point two nine five million on Fox. That was that was eight. week one. Yep, week one. Week one as well. Alabama, Miami was number ten at five point six seven four million on ABC. And then number that's eleven five, and twelve. Five point six seven million people that wasted their fucking. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. 100%. Uh, Penn State, Wisconsin on Fox, 5.4 million on opening weekend. And then Wisconsin, Notre Dame, you already said that one, 5.36 on Fox. So a lot of, lot of big-time football games this year. We, we have not had yep. this many 5 million viewer games in, in at least two years. Uh, because yeah, ratings are up across the board for NFL and uh and, uh, kind of- yeah, it turns out, uh, you know, you, you get things kind of back to normal. You put crowds back in the stands and whatnot, and everybody gets back to watching. So <laughs> It is strange that the ratings went up when people couldn't go. Or the ratings went, yeah, ratings went down when people couldn't go. Yeah, well, sorry, ratings went down when people couldn't go. Ratings went up when people could go. That's weird to me. You would think all those people that are there watching at home now, ratings would have, well, anyway. It's, I think there was so much more going on. Uh, of course, last year was also an election year, and ratings always go down election years as well. Just, I mean, there was a lot. People had a lot on their plate, so you didn't get as many fringe fans a- as usual. So, I mean, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. That's I, uh, a sad life for those people. I, I do agree with you. I do agree. I, I'm not a fringe fan, and you know that. So No. no. <laughs> Don't be getting caught up in stuff that you can't control and it's just going to piss you off. And get y'all angry. If you're going to be pissed off and angry, get pissed off and angry with something important, like college football. <laughs> Hate somebody because they're an Alabama fan. That's what I do. That's what I do. I like people, it. People say all the time, you're prejudiced, Chris. I am. I, you're damn right I am. I hate Alabama fans. <laughs> I don't care who you are. I like it. I do I do find it funny that the one time I've ever heard you bet on Alabama was last week. Hey, wow. Hey, wow. Hey, wow. <laughs> it was the greatest loss of my life. I gave you the old re- re- uh, reverse jinx. It it worked. I'm I'm kind of wondering I'm doing if you did the same. Week. I'm betting Florida. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> I can Put understand. the in Florida now. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, 
or you can email us at Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.